In recent years, Hyundai have been breaking grounds with the introduction of the N-Line and Performance range and also their all-electric Ionic range, including the award-winning Ionic 5. But something tells me their latest addition to the all-electric lineup is going to be even more groundbreaking because this is the all-new Hyundai Ionic 6. And here you have it, the all new Hyundai Ionic 6. And to be honest, I think the design of this car has shocked quite a few people. If you compare it to the Ionic 5, these are two completely different cars. They almost seem worlds apart in the car industry. This almost has a fastback Porsche type look. I'm to be honest, I am a massive fan. Now, if you cast your mind back to 2020, Hyundai actually released a concept car called Prophecy and compared the Ionic 6 to Prophecy and you can see where the inspirations come from. You know, usually you see an image released by a car manufacturer of a concept car and you think that's just one of these futuristic designs that they sort of played around with. That's never going to come into fruition. The Ionic 6 is proof that concept cars can actually come to life. You know, the design of the headlights, the sloping down bonnet and also the design of the back and the rear headlights. You can see where Hyundai got the inspiration from. Now if you look at the design of the Ionic 6, I am a massive fan. I somewhat like the almost compact headlights. You know, the Ionic 5 had a big strip right across, although it does have it on the back. The front, I think, is really nice. It almost looks a bit cute whilst also being sporty. I like the fact you have, obviously, the iconic Ionic square headlights. The dips in the bonnet give it a nice sporty look. Also, these bit at the bottom, they are your air vents. Now, obviously, you're thinking, well, how's this car going to cool down when it's driving? How's that battery going to cool down? Well, an actually very good point is the fact that when you drive it, if the car does need to cool down, these flaps open, allowing for more air to get in. But the fact that they open and close as you please and it doesn't just have a permanent front grille just makes it a much more entertaining and good looking car. So then if we take a look at the back of the Hyundai Ionic 6 and like the front, it's unique. However, it still sticks to that very universal Ionic styling. You know, these square lights that go right across but the Ionic 6 has this nice fastback look, you know, nice sloping down. I also really love the dual spoilers. You could point at different features, go, oh, that's like that car, that's like that car. However, bring them all together and you get a very unique looking car in the Ionic 6. Coming to the boot space then, and one thing I do like is the fact that it's fully automatic on your key fob. What you have here is 403 litres of boot capacity. Now, it goes very far back. However, that's a slight issue. You know, 403 litre boot capacity is a good size boot space. But the fact that it goes so far back, you know, I'm going to have to climb in here to reach something at the back. You know, if I've just got something rolled at the back, that's going to be very hard to get. You've also got a slight lip here. And obviously with, you know, no plastic bit here, you don't want to be scratching this bit. So you are going to have to lift stuff out. It's quite low. So I think it, that's what gives it that sort of Porsche fastback look. The fact that it's quite a small boot opening, it's going to be hard to get things in. However, to have a boot this space and have a car look this good, you know what? I could live with that. And obviously, to close the boot, you just press that. Overall, I just think the exterior styling of the Ionic 6 is bob on. Apart from maybe a few little things like these little bits here, I feel like they could have done without them. But look at it on the whole, it's a stunning car. Coming to the interior then, and on the whole, it's very reminiscent of what you see in the Ionic 5. Obviously, the steering wheel is pretty much the same. You know, if you drive mode select button here, all your you know usual things on your steering wheel, your volume controls, you know, your lane departure six, etc. etc. Also doesn't come with the Hyundai logo. It comes with them four dots, which obviously because four dots in Morse code is the H, so that's why they have it. Also, in addition to the Ionic 6 that you don't get on the Ionic 5, is when you change driving modes, these flash a different colour and it also happens on your voice recognition, etc. These change colour a lot and trying to just add to that premium feel. Another thing that does change colour that you can probably see, you've got a nice, lovely LED strip right across there and also on your top and bottom of, you know, these new style door handles. And to be honest, I can imagine how nice this would be to drive in the dark. It's quite hard to tell, you know, we're in a quite a light room, but playing around the purple, I think just really stands out. I could imagine it being all dark and them shining through. That is going to look brilliant. Obviously, another similarity from the Ionic 5 to the all new Ionic 6 is your infotainment system and drive display. You have this nice big screen that goes right across. Obviously, infotainment system, no surprise here, it comes with the usual built in navigation, smartphone connectivity, et cetera, et cetera. You have a lot of your clamp controls through your screen. You can access them and change them through here. Although I do like the fact you have separate clamp controls down here, because I feel like when it's just in the infotainment system, it can be a bit of a faff to change on the road. I also like the shortcut buttons to immediate navigation. 
One thing, a bit of technology I think is brilliant, is your parking cameras. Because you don't just have front and back and side, you also have 360 parking cameras. And it almost seems like your car's in GTA or some video game. You know, it's just proper 3D. One really small thing about it is when you turn your steering wheel, the wheels actually move on the icon. You know, it'd be quite easy for them to just keep them straight and just have, you know, lines that go in and out. I love the fact that, it's, you know, your wheels do actually move on the diagram. You know, it feels like I'm in a big video game. But see, it's clear to see the big difference between the interior of the Ionic 5 to all new Ionic 6 is this centre console. Now, obviously, we spoke before about the exterior design. You know, it's very streamlined, it's very fastback look. So having this rather than just a flat floor changes it from, you know, the Ionic 5 feels, feels like a bit of an SUV. This makes it a bit more sporty and to be honest, I really like it. Comes with a USB, which can allow you to connect your smartphone to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You've also got a wireless phone charging mat. More storage with two USB-C, so any more passengers can charge the phone. And I also love the amount of storage under here. You can fit so much there. Obviously you have these little plastic parts here where if you look at it from a sort of first person's view, you might be thinking, what's the point in them? They're for the high spec models that have the camera wing mirror. So you, you would normally have a screen there, but obviously lower specs don't have that. I don't feel like it detracts away. I feel like it, you know, encloses all of your front dash in. But overall, it's such a comfy car. I just absolutely love, one, the size of your Bose speakers. It has a brilliant sound system and how big this armrest is. It's so comfortable. You know, usually armrest you can fit about your elbow on some, you can't even fit that. This, you can put your whole arm up there. I know you should really have two arms on the steering wheel. But that just feels so comfy. The Hyundai Ioniq 6 also comes with regenerative braking, head-up display and two safe seating positions. Coming to the back seats then and you can already see, obviously I'm not the tallest person, but you can already see how much leg room I've got here. I can almost lie down. The only annoying thing is the seats are pretty low to the floor. So, you, you know, if you do have longer legs, you won't be able to tuck them under. But saying that, if you were a little bit taller, which I really wish I was, if you had your legs right down here, they'd easily just slot and you know what? Rest on that seat. Obviously, with it being an all electric car, you don't have that middle section. So the middle person don't have to awkwardly put the legs apart. And to be honest, there's so much space. Two air vents in the back along with two USB-C ports and also a little bit of storage down here. Centre armrest, the only downside, you know, obviously it's a big size leather wrap, two cup holders. I just think cup holders just feel so much nicer if they can pop out of here because ultimately, if you don't have a bottle in it, you just your hands just resting in the cup holder. It'd be nicer if they pop out here. Again, really love the storage. Now the doors are slightly different to the front, you know, with this smaller speaker. Armrests are still the same size, so you know, you're still gonna be really comfy. And you know what? I just love the LED lights in the top and bottom. I just think that purple in the dark will look oh, brilliant. One thing I really do like about the back seats of this car, obviously a lot of cars nowadays have heated front seats. There's nothing necessarily special there. This got heated back seats. I think that's so nice because if you've got the technology to put it in the front seats, why not put it in the back? One thing I do find quite funny is if you are a passenger in the Ionic 6, your parents might be in the front, might be friends, whoever. One thing you can do is the passenger seat, their seat controls are here, which are quite easily within reach. So if they're annoying you and you want them to go further away from you, just push the seat up. You could squash them against the front dash if you wanted to, fold them in half like a deck chair. Don't know why that's a thing because they have you know controls down the sides but be kind of a laugh wouldn't it so then here's three things that i really like about the ionic 6. first off is when you indicate on your drive's display it comes up with your blind spot camera very handy at all point two is how much leg room there is in the back now obviously with it being the EV, you don't have that middle section so you can stretch out as much as you want also even if you are six foot two six foot three which i really wish i was there's no way you're going to be squashed you know your knees are not going to be pressing against that look at that i can have a right good kip in the back of here very good here under and point three it's just something little but you know what it's so satisfying it's how effortless that goes in and out you know, I'm to constantly push your hand over and get it out. Look at that. So then three small things I'm not the greatest fan of about the Ionic 6. One being the boot space. Now, obviously, it's a good size boot space. And I also think having it this way allows for a better exterior design. However, for me, having to get all the way to the back of here for some roll back, I'm going to have to essentially get myself in. That's me reaching the back. Bit of a faff if you're a five foot four. Point two isn't necessarily a downside. I just think maybe Hyundai could have done a bit more is your automatic gear shifter. Now you've seen this in previous electric Hyundai models and I just feel that it could have done a bit more of this. You know, you have this nice big center console. 
could have easily been implemented in there. And the third and final point of things that I'm not the biggest fan of by Ionic 6, and it's only really one thing, I don't own one. Now coming on to the technical side and let's talk about the mechanics of this car. This car with that electric motor can do upwards of 338 miles electric range, which is obviously more than its previous counterpart in the Ionic 5. On coming to charging, you can actually get 10% to 80% in just 25 minutes. Now, along with that really good electric range, you also have a very powerful car. Now, the Ionic 6 comes in two driving variations of all wheel and rear wheel drive. The all wheel drive could do upwards of 0 to 60 in 5.1 seconds and also produce 335 PS of power. So then looking at the technical side of the Ionic 6 and it trumps its award-winning counterpart on the Ionic 5 has more electric range is powerful it's a very good car so then there you have it the all-new streamlined Hyundai Ionic 6 and to say I'm a fan of this car well I think this is one of the most good-looking new releases in the car industry although you could look at the car and different components and think all oh, the Hyundai taken inspiration from here there and everywhere they brought so many different elements together from different inspirations and made a very unique looking car this is built on a success of the award-winning Ionic 5 you know with increased range with 0 to 60 time in as little as 5.1 seconds now if you've watched this video thinking you know what I need to give the Ionic 6 a try and contact your nearest Holcroft Hyundai dealership all contact details can be found on the Holcroft website